Okay, so we're back to the only game where the character's only skills that they level up is their ability to die for no reason. It's The Sims 4. The man family is back. Tim Horton is over here. He's like, but why? And that is what I will explain to you today. I have mentioned before that The Sims will typically die for absolutely no reason, even though they live in an environment that is completely conducive to their continued survival. Quite frankly, I believe it's because all the trauma that I put them through is slowly being imprinted into their pixels. They remember all the previous atrocities. That's why some of them have a fixed look of horror on their face. So today I want to build something of a Sims exhibit. All six of my Sims, as well as their two drug abusing animals, will exist in a tiny, almost asylum-like room where they will no doubt die very quickly. As more and more members of the family die, they will get larger and larger quarters until they have a massive area to live in with everything that they could possibly want. But make no mistake, someone will still end up dying somehow. And thus I will prove that Sims lack two things, pants and the will to live. I'm gonna need some proctors for this examination too, so I'll probably hire a couple of extra Sims just to watch the carnage. Okay, first things first, we must start with an area that would make anyone want to die. All right, we have the beginning of the very first torture room. Now you'll notice besides being a very tiny little 10 by 10 area, roughly the same size as the room I had when I was six years old, it has everything that a growing sim needs, including a television just above the toilet, forcing you to watch the person urinate while you have your entertainment. Need something to make it a little bit more personal. Random teen idol poster, perfect. All right, just gotta make it obnoxiously big. And don't ask me why, but I gotta put this tragic clown right above the tub. He can gaze down as the Sims attempt to bathe and be like, your time will be up soon. And yeah, here's a zebra print rug, because why not? I'm feeling especially generous. Here's a freaking cat scratching post. And a bookshelf. I feel like putting this right next to the stove is something of a fire hazard, but I mean, I think the last thing these sims have to worry about is catching on fire. Now it's just a matter to see how long it takes the very first sim to die before we go on to a slightly larger room. If I had to guess, I would say, uh, 12 hours. All right, now that the cats are inside, I can finally close off the one portal to the outside world. Get a little stage lighting in. Wouldn't want them to have a moment of privacy after all. Always remember to save often. All right, our proctors are here for this examination to include Florida man's dropout, slightly alcoholic younger brother, as well as Dr. Strange. We got a dude over here that looks like a young Burt Reynolds, but he mugged Mr. T for his jewelry. What the hell are you tense for? You're not the one inside of the box. That's stranger danger. Ah, Florida man's brother is making a beautiful painting of spleens his ass. You know what we need inside of this room? Lights. An uncomfortable amount of lights. There we go. How do you all feel now? Like an ant under a magnifying glass. Good, good. I like how everyone's already started painting the horrifying scene that will happen today. Hey, young Florida man, you're missing one more six in your jacket. Spleens is over here like, I hope he's painting my good side. I think the best part about being LSD is that if she wins and she's the only sim left, it's fine because she can talk to herself for eternity. See, the great thing about being crazy is you always have at least one friend to talk to. That is gorgeous. You just need to put Spleens' eyes a little bit farther apart. You know what would make things slightly better for the proctors? A full lick of bar. Here we go, a nice spaceship bar. A couple of outdoor bathrooms just in case. I feel like I gave the sims way too much space to start out with, so I'm kind of shortening the room a little bit. <laughs> Things are kind of extra weird now because the sad clown is now looking directly down at the toilet. It mentioned that Tonsils is a fearless pet. Don't worry, Tonsils. You will be afraid soon. You will be afraid soon. He's like, the only thing I'd be afraid of is not being able to see the inside of my brain lobes anymore. Look, I don't have enough space to give you guys privacy walls, so if you want to use the toilet, you better learn to do it in front of people. Like I said, it's a lot like being in prison. I like how the one thing that Tim Horton was afraid of was the fact that Spleens was watching him when he's trying to use the bathroom. This girl's been over here trying to make like a Tom Collins for the last three hours. I feel like somehow she's gonna end up dying. <laughs> this is an excellent opportunity in painting 
to capture true sadness. <laughs> Young Florida man's over here. He's like, hey, LSD, can you get off your goddamn cell phone and look unhappy again? Thank you. Like 150 limes have died so that this lady could try and make one single drink. If you look closely, you can actually see the frown over here. <laughs> this guy's over here. He's like, you know what's great? Having a hamburger and freedom. <laughs> Ah, the very first sim has pissed all over themselves. And so it begins. In retrospect, I don't actually know if they can reach the bed because the shower's in the way, but I mean, that's the price you pay for living in a tiny little cell. Ah, LSD is dying from embarrassment. Lucky you guys, you get to move to a slightly bigger cell. Aren't you happy? Look at this, it's like sad, sad. Pretending to be sad. T. Reynolds over here is like, huh? Okay, the Sims that are left get to live in twice as large an area. Although there is gonna be even more light shining down on them at all times. Well, well, well. Someone finally used the bed in this big ass room I've given you all. And it's Tim Horton. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys even more incentive to stay alive. I'm actually gonna wall in the toilet and the shower. How about that? Sims are probably like, who are you and what have you done with Gray? There. You bastards now have no reason to die, but you still will. I like how death is still just over here chilling out with my cats. Spleens is busy trying to clean up all the urine with her fur. By the way, remember when I said I would bet that a sim would die in 12 or less hours? There you go. Just like a Dungeons and Dragons adventuring party. They're all taking turns sleeping for about 30 minutes. I feel like sims are the only characters when they're having a conversation and the one guy's like, so what do you plan to do today? And they're like, die. You know, since these sims are getting a slightly larger living area they do need at least one more opportunity to die hold on that's right sim it's your worst nightmare a freaking pool you may also have this floaty mcwhale face float lounger it's like the size of the whole damn pool i got bad news guys in order to have a floaty mcwhale face lounger i actually have to make the pool slightly larger there we go this whale's over here it's like so uh who's ready to die first so what does i forgot my pants and a book have in common they both get destroyed when they enter the water all right everyone you have no reason to die at this point you have a large area i'm sure you're going to live for a long time i'm kidding someone is going to die within the next 12 hours i'm almost sure of it for the love of god florida man is having an intelligent conversation with a woman someone capture this ah captain stash thank god you were around now the beam is in the way no one will ever know you may paint something just as good such as this plate of rotting burgers i love how in this picture they actually captured the radiating suet oh christ what the hell happened Jesus, how? Australian man, no! Actually, while you're burning, hold on, can we get a picture of this real quick? Damn it, there's a fire on the lot. I so wanted to get a painting of Australian man burning alive. What did I tell you? I told you that it didn't matter how much space I give these people, someone will die roughly every 24 hours. Now you're gonna burn alive, Australian man. Oh, never mind, you've been saved. Never mind. She's putting out the fire in the oven not the fire that's on australia <laughs> and just like that we're down one extra sim i love how surprised everyone is everyone's like how can this be this is actually a fantastic time to capture a picture of everyone's agony let's see can we get that whole scythe in there right about there perfect all right i'm making up your next area sims yes your bathroom is see-through you all get over it this is an auspicious day everyone gets to bed everyone can have their own bar too because honestly why the hell not i'm giving everyone a ladder to the pool i want them to be safe after all what are you guys freaking crying about? You guys are getting to use the bathroom. There's a sink over here to wash your hands in. Everyone has their own bed. You know who managed to make a grilled cheese sandwich without killing himself? It's Florida Man. Hey, Claire Danes. Ever had anyone paint a picture of your sleeping form? Young Florida Man will. Tim Horton, do not float in the friggin' pool. Every time this leads to someone drowning. This is a fantastic painting. If you look closely, you can actually capture the moment that her will to live leaves her body. For some reason, when I saw Spleens here looking for food, 
I picture Batman's voice when he's asking the Joker where Rachel and Harvey Dent are. It's like, Spleens, why don't you get something to eat? And she's like, where is it? So we have a fantastic painting over here of Florida Man's ass, apparently. I don't know when that happened. Must start hanging these up. <laughs> Would never want to forget. Okay, ready for this mind screw? So now Claire Danes can sleep in her bed beneath the picture of her sleeping in her bed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is this? Did... What? There's no, there's no death notification. What the hell? Tim Horton just drowned and he didn't get anything. He didn't get death music. He didn't get a death notification. He got nothing. I love how everyone is crying. Except for I forgot my pants. She's like, yes. Don't be sad, everyone. This means that there's only two deaths left. Young Florida man is over here capturing a fantastic painting of his older brother sobbing uncontrollably in front of the urn of Tim Horton. <laughs> no, someone's cooking again. I haven't moved you over to the next building yet. <laughs> I mean, if we get lucky, she will not set herself on fire. Yeah, she's fine. There we go. There we go. Privacy is for squares. All right, since you guys have more space, I'll give you even more stuff. There's a friggin' arcade machine. How much more do you people want to stay alive? Florida man, for Christ's sakes, don't do it. Okay, at this point, it looks like everyone's doing pretty well. Florida man is still floating in the pool, which is giving me friggin' anxiety. I forgot my pants managed to cook something without dying. I gave them all this little area over here so that they can create lovely online video content about the torture that they experience every day. Let me go ahead and hang this picture up over here. There we go. This designates this bed as Florida man's. Oh, Christ, no. <laughs> How the hell does a Florida man drown in an eight foot pool? He's like, my entire diet has been Bud Light nachos. What do you want? I like how she's chilling out, having something to eat in the pool while his dead carcass is floating right in front of her feet. She totally doesn't realize. She's over here having like some strawberry ice cream or something while Florida man's dead body slowly undulates in the pool. She's like, man, this pool is so warm today. That's because it's heated by the blood of the innocent. On the plus side, this means that there's only two of you left. So I only have to build this house one last time. You ready for some Simception? I'm going to paint a picture of a picture of Claire Dane sleeping. Go ahead and give you guys a sauna since the bathroom is so big. Plus it's just another way for everyone to die. I'm not gonna lie, if I could get this as a reference painting, it would be perfect. I forgot my pants is over here baking a freaking cake, which means she's dancing with the devil. I like how I forgot my pants has everything, okay? There's everything here. There's a toilet, there's a sauna, there's a shower, there's everything. She has to go to the bathroom. She has 31 minutes to do it. Is she gonna use the bathroom to stay alive? No, she's gonna piss all over herself and then she's gonna die. 20 minutes left, 15 minutes left. You dumbass, you deserve everything you get. There's no excuse! Are you kidding me right now? Y'all set the house on fire and you're just gonna chill out in this corner. You're not gonna put the fire out. The fire is spreading. The fire is going to kill you all. You're gonna sleep through the fire. This is amazing. Both of these Sims made it all the way to the end and they may end up dying to the flames. I love how this fire is slowly creeping across the floor. It's gonna take 24 hours to get to them and they're still just gonna chill out in this corner and die. I love how they're standing here and I forgot my pants. It's like, Claire Danes, it's been an honor. And she just pissed all over herself. So she may actually die from the embarrassment first. She's just sleeping on the ground now. This is unbelievable. The fire went out by itself. Wake up, young Florida man. It's time for some, Never mind. I was gonna say it's time for some friggin' pictures, but apparently, Claire Danes pissed all over herself and then died. So the fire did in fact indirectly kill her, which means that I forgot my pants is the winner if she can stay awake to claim her prize. <laughs> and there you go. Despite having everything in the entire world at their disposal, the Sims still died in every size of potential house you could possibly have. I'm gonna leave you with this dirty, disease-ridden version of Florida Man's younger brother. Anyway, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.